Hi, I'm Albert Mady, Ninth Degree Black Belt, Mady's Martial Arts Center in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And we're brought to you by CanadianProFighter.com. We're here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada with Albert Mady, living legend and runner of Mady's Martial Arts Dojo. I know that Maury Smith is coming here to do some seminars. We, everyone knows Maury Smith, former UFC heavyweight champion. And... Uh, <coughs> He also is running the EWFC with you. He's got a major part in that. Can you tell us a little about the EWFC and his uh, seminar coming up? Well, yeah, East West Fighting Championships is a, a new league. Um, we had our event basically postponed, nothing to do with us on our part. Um, it, it was just a scheduling problem with, uh, in Edmonton with the Rexall Center. And uh, we, we have some tentative dates in November, beginning of November. And... Once we get the first one done and out of the way, then we're running along really good because we have other uh, events planned. It's just we have to get the first one done and out of the way. And anybody that's uh, been involved in promoting events, man, you know you know it's a lot of work. It's tough. There's always a stumbling block. But we have a great team, great team put together, and uh, I think we're going to go a long way. Now, Maurice is coming here at the end of the month, last uh, weekend in June. And uh, he'll be here for the Saturday and Sunday doing seminars. It's only $25 a day. And we're going to do four-hour seminars. And last time Maurice was here, it went on five hours. It went on six hours. We're not in a rush to get out of here. No. Yeah, I mean, we have the dojo. It's our place, and we don't have to leave within a certain amount of time. And he's a great guy to work out with. He's a lot of fun. He, he makes the, the workout, the training very, very enjoyable, and you learn a heck of a lot. Uh, there's a legend in the martial arts, a true legend in the martial arts. You know, he won the K uh, K1. He won the UFC. He was a Muay Thai champion, kickboxing champion. And um, we want to learn from his experience. That's the thing I try to let everybody know. Learn from people that really have experience because they've been there, they've done that, and um, they know what works and what doesn't. Oh, for sure. And that's an opportunity you don't want to miss. $25 to be learning from two living legends at the same time. It's hard to pass up. And then is there a... Uh there's also a lot of other things going on. We know that uh, Kyle Proplex is going to be fighting at the end of July. And uh, any other big fights coming up? Well, we always have something, you know, in the works. Uh, we're supposed to be fighting in Lebanon. It was supposed to be in September, but it's been moved to the new year, uh, probably early... Uh, early spring, late winter, and uh, that's going to be a good MMA event. Uh, MMA is just kind of starting to catch on in the Middle East. Most of Europe and the Middle East prefer kickboxing and Muay Thai, K1 rules. You see that, you see that there. It's a lot bigger there. But MMA is starting to happen there. The very first MMA event was hosted by Maurice Smith uh, in Bahrain. Uh, back in December, uh, December 10th, and actually my son, Chucky Mady, fought the very first fight on Arab soil. So that's MMA history. Very, very first fight, first knockout, quickest knockout. Uh, he knocked out Kiko Lopez in 12 seconds of the first round. Kiko, Kiko great guy uh, from a phenomenal team, from Team Quest, and we give him all the respect. Um, you know, it could have gone, gone the other way. You know, Chuck uh, got the first good one in, and when you got two good fighters out there, whoever gets the first one in, you know, a lot of times is the guy who's going to win. So um, we do have that coming up. Um, you know, I have a whole calendar of events coming up. Um, the East-West is what we're really shooting at because we'll have some local fighters on that card. Um, that's just a lot of work on our part right now. We're, we're doing the best we can to, to get it going, and it's going great. You know, we have our... Uh, 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 our logo, the smiley face, it's kind of a grin, yeah. you know, kind of an evil, evil smiley face that uh, has a black eye. Um, it, it's kind of, it's, it's a nice little thing, you know, it's a lot of fun.